In today's video, we are going to go over a lot of viral products and whether or not they're worth it. I'm really excited to bring these to you because a lot of them I did find that I really liked. There were some questionable things in here, but let's get into that right after I show you my top because I always get asked about that. My top, my jewelry, all of the extra makeup that I don't talk about in today's video, along with my fingernails, all of that good stuff will be listed and linked below in the description box for you. And I will try to pin it in the first comment as well. I remember that about halfway through the day after I post these, so bear with me. I will get there for you. Now, before we get into the, today's video, though, I do want to tell you that I have some brushes from Refer that were gifted to me, and I already had them myself. So I just want to give to you a set of Refer brushes. This is the first five brushes that were ever released by them, and so it's 01 through 05. These are fantastic brushes. There are three eye brushes, and then two two of the brushes for face. These are super soft brushes that I have used over and over again, but I'm going to give two sets of these away in this video today. So all you have to do is comment down below. Let's comment what your favorite pro new product of 2024 is. If you have one, if not, what was it in 2023? So just go ahead and comment that. Now, I unfortunately cannot do this internationally because it costs so much to ship and also the duties or the taxes that might come to you as having them shipped to you might be more than, you know, we can either afford. So make sure that you let me know down in the comment section where you're from. Let me tell you how I do this. I only verbally announce winners. And that is becoming a problem because not everybody watches my videos and I'm, I'm pretty sneaky. I will sneak in three winners names somewhere in my videos. So I have had six people. I've chosen six different people to win things and they've never contacted me because of the scammers. I'm not going to contact you through your email. I'm not going to announce it in anything other than possibly the community tab. My giveaways are super simple. I don't make you jump through a bunch of hoops. You have to be subscribed. You have to comment. That's it. And I just really feel like if I don't do it this way, the scammers go after us and they get us and I will never contact you and say that you have won and you need to pay me money to send it. I will never do anything like that. If you win a giveaway, it's a totally free. So make sure you do that. I really want to give these away and I would like to give that other stuff away too, but Hey, that's the way it goes. So let's talk about some viral makeup and whether or not it's worth it. First of all, I want to tell you that the CoverGirl Simply Ages Skin Perfector Essence, I think mine is in light. If you can see in that bottle, what it has is little encapsulated pigments in there. And when it goes on your skin, it pops those encapsulated pigments and then they go on your skin. This would just be a hyaluronic acid product because I, first of all, don't feel like there's any coverage there at all. There is so little coverage. It's, this is not a coverage product. I don't know why they introduced it as such. I don't feel like it has a lot of skin benefits. I know that as soon as this dries down, my skin is going to feel a little bit drier. So I'm going to tell you to skip this one. And not only that, why did this bottle cost me $20? I was really upset at that. It's a drugstore product and it's $20 and it really did absolutely nothing. So little bit perturbed at this product right off the bat. Let's just say that. The other one that has been a viral product is the Halo Glow Liquid Filter Glow Booster from e.l.f. Now this was, of course, a dupe that they brought out for the Charlotte Tilbury and everybody went gaga for it. We all, they all loved it. I tried it and I was okay with it, but it has been since then that I've been really working with it and working with it with a brush. And specifically, I think it's the 106 brush from BK Beauty. And I've really been kind of tapping it in and make sure that it's going into my skin, that I've been loving it. It gives you a beautiful radiance on your skin. It has a doe foot applicator and it does deliver quite a bit out of there. So you can be real careful with how much you brush on with the doe foot applicator, or you just can go in with the brush and use it that way. This really isn't like a blurring product or anything like that. It's just basically a glow primer. You can use it on its own because it does give better coverage than that CoverGirl one does. It is a pretty product and I really do like this one. And I would say that yes, this viral product is worth the hype. The next one is the foundation from Polite Society and it says more than a pretty face. I do like this foundation. I have it on today. 
I was really surprised and using it with that particular brush from BK Beauty, the 106. And if you can't afford the BK Beauty right below where I'm going to list the 106 brush, I will try to list for you an alternative that you can use that might be a lot more cost effective. But this foundation itself is very friendly for the mature woman. I feel like you need so very little of it to give you really, really pretty coverage. The other problem that I've been having lately is because of some drooping with my skin and the weight loss that I've had, and you know, the skin really shows up a lot of texture, is I've been noticing a lot of settling and break apart. This doesn't do that. And I'm really, really happy with this. So I've seen this all over social media re recently and people just absolutely falling in love with this and saying that this is the new holy grail for mature skin. I don't quite feel like I'm at that status of holy grail, but I do feel like it's really a good one and that you would like it if you tried it, if you have mature and dry skin. I have dry skin as well. And I think that's why I liked it so much. The next one that I can report is the new Laura Mercier concealer. And this is the real fault the Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Concealer. This one, I was really surprised. It is much thinner than the original one of hers because I'm not a fan of the original one. Everybody loved it. Makeup artists would carry it in their kits. I feel like if you were younger and you didn't have a lot of creasing or a lot of texture under your eyes, then you would love it. But for me, it was just a little bit too drying. But this one is very hydrating. Now, what I did is I've gone back to my color correctors because I felt like I was hating concealers all over again. But when I go back to my color correctors, I do a very thin layer of color corrector and then I let my concealer, I will let it set up in a very thin layer and then I will go back in after a few minutes and I'll use that BK Beauty foundation brush again and I will tap in this area and then I'll go over it with my finger and try to lift off any excess. It just seems like that combination that using it like that really works well and this it worked really good for me. I was so shocked because the formula is so very thin. And usually I'm thinking I need a thicker formula with more pigment in it, but this was really pretty, especially when I already used the color corrector underneath it. It just seemed to work really good. Do have it on today and really am liking it. Next one that I wanna report on is the LYS bronzer stick. Okay, this is just like people were going absolutely fruitcake bonkers over this and I had had this before and I'm like, do I want to try this again? Did I miss something? Because I had already decluttered it. And so I went out and I bought it again because everybody was just like, this is the most creamy thing. This just is perfect color, blah, blah, blah. This is Harmony. I think it's the middle color. I think there's five colors. So I think it's the medium color. But this to me is just, it's too orange. I do have it on today, but I do feel like my skin is way too orange with it on. It's in the perimeter of my skin and I used it on my cheeks a little bit. It just is way, way, way too orange for me. It's one of those colors that if I were to swatch it in the store, I wouldn't pick it up and buy it. But the formula itself is fantastic. So I would tell you that if you're not somebody that looks for that good balance of neutral tones in your bronzers, I have to, otherwise it looks like orange Oompa Loompa skin. And I don't want that. I want it to be that very balanced, not a muddy color, but a very balanced, a bronze color that is not too orange either. So I don't feel like this color was good for me, but my goodness, the formula in this is fantastic, superb, so easy to blend, and you just about can't make a mistake with it. So I really do love this formula. I just wish that they'd come out with more colors. And it's no surprise that we have a bunch of products in here from Tarte. Tarte has, does on social media so much advertising and they just, everybody will eventually go crazy because they hear about how fantastic the products are. Tarte has all these bundles that they put together and then you can get them for so much cheaper than you would. And that's actually what I did. And I found these three products that I actually do really like. However, I do want to tell you that the Fake Awake that goes in your waterline, that's what they're using it for. I do feel like this wears off fairly quickly. I've done my makeup about an hour ago or so, and I feel like it's already starting to wear off. So it does give that beautiful effect of having the waterline be a nude color 
and it is a nice color for in there for just about anybody I would think unless you're super deep skin you might not like it at all but it does give that awake effect to your eyes if you're wearing it now my suggestion would be is to put a coat of it on wait a second do something else and then go put another coat of it on and you'll have it on there a little bit more I do like that this is a mechanical pencil so I I like it but is it the be all and the end all do you absolutely need it no I don't think that you do. I think that there are probably eyeliners at the drugstore that every bit is good and it is a good product and it does exactly what they say it does, but I don't know if it lasts long enough in the waterline for me to say run out and buy it. Next one from Tarte is their tubing mascara, which is really nice, their Tartlet tubing mascara. I have that one on this eye right here, but I did also put in this video e.l.f. lash extender and I have that one on this eye right here. I do feel like the e.l.f. beat out the tubing mascara from Tarte. I like them both and they both have the same kind of longevity. They both have the same ease of removal. You use just a little, you can use it with water if you want to and a cloth or you can use just a little bit of regular cleanser. It comes off super easy, both of them. I feel like the brushes are identical. This should probably have gone in dupes video and it might still, but I do feel like they are really close to the same product and the e.l.f. tube of mascara is only $7, whereas the one from Tarte, if you buy the big one, it's a, it's like 20 something, but the small one is still 14. You can buy these, like I said, from Tarte in bundles, and I will list a couple of those down below for you. But as far as these being good mascaras, they're fantastic mascaras. Do I feel like they're worth the hype for viral products? I sure do. But if you're somebody that's wanting to save money, you definitely can save money by going the way of the elf. So let me just tell you that what came in my bundle was the lip plump the maracuja lip plump from tarte and then the eyeliner the fake awake and then the tubing mascara from tarte so that's what i got in my bundle and that's what i'm going to show you today are the lip plumping mar maracuja sticks these are so nice i actually really like the cooling effect that these give I also really like that these have a lot of shine in them, like a lip gloss. So you're getting a hybrid of a lipstick and a lip gloss, and I like both of them. And I love this color. Let me tell you what this color is as well. Dragon fruit is what this color is. Really pretty color. And the other color that I have here with me is called warm pink. Let me just put warm pink right here. You can see that it's fairly a sheer gloss right there, whereas dragon fruit will have a lot more color in it. So there's lots of colors. You can find whatever one you like. I do like, like these as far as how hydrating they are. I like the cooling effect on them. Do I feel like they're super plumping? No, but I do like that cooling effect anyway. It's like Buxom's is, maybe not quite as strong as that, but it is still really good. And I do really like this product. Next is the one size blurring powder in pink that is always out of stock always out of stock <laughs> and i know that because it is super viral right now all over social media but this i love because on my skin it blurs away all the imperfections without actually making me look super dry and i love that about it i absolutely love a powder that i can use and be strategic with and set my makeup but i don't have a ton of that dryness or that wrinkly look that you get sometimes when you have a lot of powder on. And this is a super fine powder. I love how pink and brightening it is. It just works really well for me. However, if you're somebody that is a very darker tone, they do have other colors that would work really well for you and they are in stock. So you might wanna look into those, but it's a good powder. It's a really nice setting powder that really does refine the look of those pores and really helps set my under eyes. This is a beautiful powder and yes, I feel like it's very much worth the hype. And then lastly, I've been talking about this forever, but everybody continues to talk about it. It's from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Spray. Why everybody continues to talk about this and why this is such a popular product and it never seems to fade in its viral popularity is because this does have those polymers in it or those cross polymers in it that when you spray it on your skin, not only is it gonna make your makeup last all day long, but it's gonna give a blurring effect. And that's what's so beautiful about it, is that blurring effect. And especially if you're a mature woman, you're gonna get that extra blur, even more than the powder gives you, it's gonna do that extra blur. So I spray this on and then I go back in with that original foundation brush and kind of tap all over a little bit with it. It works so well. If you use a sponge, you can tap it in with the sponge like I did on 
on my last video where I showed you makeup after 55. I find that this particular spray, I've not been able to find anywhere else in anything anybody else has done. I love the Benefit Professional, but those are ones that have micro fine powders in them. And so those powders are what you're getting your blurring, blurring effect from, but I feel like this one that has the cross polymers in it, almost an airbrush look like the name says. So this right here, this is another one that I say, yes, the hype is real, the hype is worth it. Don't feel like you wanna take the plunge, do the little one and try the little one, or sometimes Sephora even has samples that they can give you if you spend over a certain amount on your online orders. So that is the last one. Those are all the ones that I have seen very recently that I felt like I wanted to bring to you and show to you and was it worth it or not and let you know that because a lot of them I'm very into and I'm very excited about and I feel like there are times when we do want to splurge on our makeup. I hope that you did enjoy the video and please give it a thumbs up if you will before you leave today. I do really, really appreciate that and thank you so much. Now please come back around in my next video so that I can see you again. Don't forget to comment below in order to win the prize today. I hope everybody is happy and healthy. I'll see you very soon. Love you, my friends. Bye-bye.